Okay, so so Jared brought up a, a point that um, uh, he's wondering whether uh, over tightening the blade with a stick um, can actually constitute a problem. Um, personally, I like the push method, and uh, also some other people mentioned that uh, it looked awful dangerous. Um, I'm going to do it on the PK saw here, which is an 18 inch saw, much larger arbor, much more powerful saw, and you would think that you'd want to tighten that blade up even more tight and uh, just to uh, ensure that it wouldn't come loose. And so I'm going to show you the stick method on the PK, and I'm going to accent how much pressure it actually takes to push it with the teeth in, 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 in the my preferred method as opposed to the wedged tooth method which I'll point out has, has some detrimental effects to the teeth at times if used in a way because of its leverage it can actually crack a tooth off or fracture it which will come flying off after the fast because carbide is very brittle and it's only brazed onto the steel plate. So I think my method is a much more insured way of, of um, protecting the teeth. Now the Wagon PK does not even have an option of a locked arbor nor does it have uh, a slot for the wrench in this location and so one couldn't even um, use uh, the two wrench method for the Watkin PK so um, all I, I'd really like to emphasize that 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 that, that by pushing by pushing uh, the um, you now you can see that the arbor is pretty massive. Uh, here, here's the wrench. Okay, it's a stub arbor. Okay, uh, it's a pin drive. Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to show you it uh, changing the PK. Now I'm going to try to emphasize. One could use a larger stick if they, for whatever reason, thought that. You know they were going to slip and cut themselves with this stick. Now this saw blade has gone through an enormous amount of work and if any slipping went it was cutting two inch oak and a bunch of two inch stock. It's pretty much dedicated to the large stuff. So once again I'm just going to hold this and I'm only pushing, did you see that? That's as much pressure. Okay, this saw blade needs to be that tight. Okay, if someone thought that they were going to slip when they were a little weary about cutting themselves, which I assure you, it's nothing, lower the blade. Lower the blade and push here. But you're pushing on the face of that tooth. Okay. I like it up high for myself to do it because I can grab the blade and tighten it. Um, let me show you why I don't like the wedged method. And uh, what I believe will actually cause damage. Now the wedge method is to put the board in here. One might want the one might want the saw up a little higher so they can get a little bit and they'll put the blade right there and they'll pry but as you pry as you pry you're actually pushing on the very tip of that tooth you're prying in there and you're putting pressure, heavy, heavy pressure on the tip of that tooth. And I've actually cracked teeth off because I found I don't have the leverage. The, the wedged method is a friction method. And as it slips, and I'm sure people have had it slip, they keep prying more and, and apply enormous amounts of pressure to that tooth where it takes virtually no pressure if you just push on the tooth. None. Hardly any. 
Guys, I am pushing that hardly at all to make that open. If you think about it, and where I'm pushing, my wrench is that long if it had a wrench. I have lots of leverage by increasing the length of this stick. It'll just become that much easier and because you're pushing on the face of the tooth, you are not tightening it. That's all you need. Tight enough not to slip and if it slips it'll be tight enough again. So uh, I think that the I think that the you know the tin you know here here is a, here is a here is a wrench for the ready alarm saw and this is the the tin wrench. It is a stamped facsimile of a of a wrench and I wouldn't even call it. Its tangs are so thin it rounds over very easily. This is the type of wrench that the supplier gives you to put in there. Okay, so I mean you could use this method but I find this method much easier to cut myself with. Okay, not only that, it's, it's a really sloppy fit and if you do happen to over tighten that blade this thing's just gonna roll on the tiny tiny little shoulder that you see right there and ruin that arbor and the wrench and you will have to learn the stick method eventually uh, so that that's my final take on it and uh, to each their own, but I've never damaged a tooth with the push method, nor have I damaged the arbor, and uh, I don't need to worry about grabbing two wrenches, which I find are, are, are ridiculously conceived as the inside wrench. It's sort of like, here's something for them, but the bigger saws don't even have them, thanks.